Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, the 2016 question on coordinate geometry um, was an interesting one because it asked you to plot a line which is uh, not asked that often. And it also asked you to find the coordinates of L intersection K, okay, in maths language. So again, testing that you know your maths language. Okay, but the first part of it, the line L contains the point four, five and B, which is two, zero. Find the equation of L. Give your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C is equal to zero. So um, try and ignore this one for now or try not let it um, put you off because that's the order they want the question in. What they're asking for first, your main task is to find the equation of L. So let's go to our log tables. Okay, and you'll see that the equation of a line is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus y x minus x1. And then there's another one there, y is equal to mx plus c. We use that when they give us an equation and we have to do some work with it. And um, so we'll try that one now in a minute. But to find the equation of a line, we go y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Okay, we need a slope, we need a point, on the line, okay? And we don't sub anything in for x, we don't sub anything in for y because it's an equation that always has as x's and y's. So our point, so the first thing we need is slope. So again, slope is here, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Um, you have to find that first. So slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Um, I'm getting the slope of, I'm getting the equation of the line L, which contains the points A and B. So these are my x1, y1, x2, y2. And always a reminder up here if you forget how to label the points. So sub them in. Slope M is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Hit your fraction button on your calculator, 0 minus 5 over 2 minus 4. And I got 5 over 2 for my slope. Okay, um, so my equation then, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Um, you can use either points. I, I tend to use the one that I've already labeled as x1, y1. So y minus y1 is equal to 5 over 2 times x minus x1. Okay, now you can do this in two ways. You can work with the fraction and multiply it in, or you can take this 2, so it's always the number on the bottom, and bring it up here. Okay, so that you end up getting 2 times y minus 5 is equal to five times x minus four. It's always the number on the bottom that gets brought up over the other side, okay? Technically what we're doing in maths is we're multiplying both sides by two. There's the two on the left and the two on the right cancels. But you don't have to know that. So multiply it in like you would any other algebra. So two y minus 10 equals five x minus 20 bring this over this side, or plus 10 to both sides, whichever way you do it. 2y is equal to 5x minus 20 plus 10. 2y is equal to 5x minus 10. Okay, so that's the equation of the line. I then go to the next part, which tells me to write it in a particular order. So ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. Okay, so the x is, is on the right they're positive. So I would bring him over this side and know that when it, he moves over the equals to sign, it changes sign. So that I have 5x, there's my x's first, then it wants my y's, so minus 2y, because it changed side, minus 10 is equal to zero. So that is now in the form ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. 
So that is the answer to part A. Okay, part B. Just copying it onto a new page to give myself a bit more room. Okay, draw the line. K plus two Y equals eight on the axis below, right? So there's a couple of ways of, of drawing lines. Um, it's a line, so you just need two points, to any two points at all, okay? And you know I can't draw, but I'll try. And the theory is if I join the two dots together, I get a straight line, so that worked out okay. So I want two points on my line, x plus two y equals eight. And then I'll draw the line. Okay, so that's where I'm going. What two points? How do I find two points? Okay, so this is is one method of, of, of drawing a line. I find where it cuts through the x-axis. Okay, so I take my line x plus 2y equals 8 where a line cuts through the x-axis, your y-coordinate is always zero. Why? Okay, well, let's look at the coordinates of this point. That point there is x comma y, one zero. This point here on your x-axis is two comma zero. The coordinates of this point, three comma zero. The coordinates of this point, minus one comma zero. So anywhere along the x-axis, my y-coordinate is always zero. So that's what I'm saying over here, okay? My y-coordinate is always zero along the x-axis, okay? So if I sub in zero for y into here, I will then find the x-coordinate that matches when y is zero. So in other words, where it cuts through the x-axis. So I'm going to sub in y is zero into that equation so that I get x plus two times zero is equal to eight. Two times zero is zero, so x is equal to eight. Okay, so the point where that cuts the x-axis is always, we always write down our x, coordinate first, so x comma y, so eight comma, and that's my y coordinate. Okay, so it cuts the x-axis at the point eight zero. So that's always a very handy point to find where it cuts the x-axis. Okay, now I'm going to find for a second point, because I need two points to plot the line, find where it cuts the y-axis. Okay, and just like before, the coordinates on the y-axis, let's think about these. Well, I don't go over anywhere in my um, x direction, so the coordinates of him are zero comma one. The coordinates here of this point, again, zero comma two, and we'll go up to five, zero comma five. Okay, so along my y-axis, you can see that my x-coordinate is always zero. Okay, which is why you will always see me writing down at the y-axis, x is zero, okay? Now, I don't label them like this every time I'm trying to find where it cuts the axis, but I always write this line down. And it's always the opposite coordinate. So along the x-axis, it's y that's zero. And when I write that down, it makes me remember which one is zero. And then at the y-axis, the x-coordinate is zero. So it's always the opposite one. So write that line down and it will help you figure out which one do you sub zero in for. Okay, so you take the same equation because it's the same line you're trying to draw, except this time the zero goes in for um, the x. So 2y is equal to 8 divided by the number in front of the letter always. So y is equal to 4. Again, x comma y. So my zero has to go down first this time and four. Okay, so let me tidy up my coordinate 
plane over here and let's plot. So we have a point at eight zero. We have a point at zero four. Okay. And then in an ideal world, nearly, I get it to go through the two points. Okay, and that's you drawing the line um, x plus 2y is equal to 8. Okay, there is another way to draw a line. And it's using the equation y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, um, which if you remember, I always say over here, when you're finding the equation of the line, use y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. When they give you an equation, you use y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, so for this one, that's where it's called the y-intercept or where it cuts the y-axis and this is slope. Okay, so you see I have the equation x plus 2y equals 8. So let's write it in this order. So the y's first equals the x's and then the numbers. So the y's first equals, so he has to come over, so he's going to change to a minus x there, plus 8. 8 was already on this side, so we didn't need to change its sign. Okay, I need y equals, not 2y, so I have to divide everything by 2. So I'm getting y being equal to minus a half x plus 4. Okay, now can we plot this? Well, in theory, yes. Okay, so the first thing you can see is it cuts the y-axis, that's my c, at 4. So it cuts the y-axis at 4. So that ties in. So if I was plotting it using y is equal to mx plus c, I would have a point there at 4. Okay, and I've just made that one be red. Okay, I then my other piece of information is that my slope is minus a half. Okay, so slope, if you remember from the slope formula, okay, it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So it's the y values over the x values. So we often call the y values rise, because it's going up. And we often call the x values run, okay? So basically, a slope of minus means I'm coming down. Okay, from left to right, I'm coming down. And what it means is if I go over one unit or if I come down one unit on my rise, so come down one unit on my rise, I go over two units on my run. Okay, so I will find another point on my line if I come down one and over two. Okay. I will find another point again. This is how you draw a line given a slope. So come down one on my rise or one on my y's. That's how I do it. Do you see it's half? So down one unit. And it's not one box because can you see that two boxes equals one unit? Okay. So that's why I'm coming down two boxes, down to two here. And then my run, which is my x's, I go over two. So again, each two boxes is one number, so over to here. Down two, over four boxes, down two, over four boxes. And you only ever need two points. I could have just taken this point at four and this one and drawn a line between them. Okay, so it's perfectly acceptable to also draw a line using y is equal to mx plus c. You just have to know that when it's in that form, your y-intercept is where it cuts the y-axis and you have to be able to interpret what slope means when you're drawing it. Okay, so that's how we draw it. Okay, so I'm going to rub off all the theory now. It's on the video, so I would say practice it. Drawing lines doesn't come up that often. Um, 
but it does come up. OK, so you need to know how to do it and you can do it whichever one of those two methods you preferred or you can use the video to learn both methods, whichever. Um, OK, so let's have a look at part C then. Use a graphic, numeric or algebraic method to find the coordinates of where L, the line L intersects with K. OK, not surprisingly for anybody who knows me, you know I'm going to do it with algebra first. OK, so how do we find the point of intersection between two lines? OK, well, I need to know the, the equation of the two lines. So my equation L was 5x minus 2y. 5x minus 2y minus 10 equals 0. And my equation for k is over here, x plus 2y. And you can see I've been really careful to put the x's under the x's. Oh, my number is here. I'm going to bring that minus 8 over this side. Oh, I should say I'm going to bring the 8 over this side to be minus 8 is equal to 0. So I'm being really careful to keep the x's over the x's, the y's over the y's, and the numbers over the numbers. Why am I doing that? Because um, I know that I find the point of intersection between two lines, which is the, the x, y that they have in common. I find that using simultaneous equations. OK, and this is a nice one because I have minus y, minus 2y plus 2y in the middle. So they cancel and then you add. OK, so 5x plus x is 6x minus 10 minus 8 is minus 18 equals 0. OK, solve for x, letters to one side, numbers to the other, divide by the number in front of x. OK, so the point where those two, the x coordinate where those two lines intersect is 3. To find y, OK, we sub back in our x equal to 3 into either of those equations, because remember, this is where they intersect. So it's where two lines intersect with each other. So they're going to have the same intersection point or the same answer for X and Y in both. So I like the look of um, K because I don't know, it just looks a bit easier. So I'm going to pick that one. But instead of X, I'm going to put in three because I now know that's three. So three minus eight is minus five is equal to zero. Letters to one side, numbers to the other, divide by the number. So the point of intersection is 3 comma 2.5. OK, so that's algebraically how you would find out how the point of intersection of two lines, uh, or what is the point of intersection so line. It comes up again and again and again, OK? And many times the question is phrased using algebra, find the points of intersection of two lines. OK, now, could you do it graphically? Yes, you could. OK, so the other line was, uh, sorry, 5x minus 2y minus 10 is equal to 0. OK, we had two points on that line, A and B. So A is 4, 5 and B was 2, 0. OK, so I don't have to go to the bother of finding two points on that line L because I was given to. So I don't have to find where it cuts the X axis and Y axis. I don't have to, to try and write it in the form Y is equal to um, MX plus C. I don't have to do anything of that because it's given me two points. So with black now, I'm going to plot four or five. So here four up to five. And I'm going to plot two zero. OK, and I'm going to attempt to draw the, these together. I'm going to try a better attempt on that now. Mm. It'll do. OK, so um, this is me doing it graphically. OK, this is how I would solve or find the point of intersection graphically. OK, so visually, can you see that these two lines intersect here? OK, so I would dot. I would dot down to my X and dot across to my Y. 
Okay, so the point of intersection, I can read straight off the graph as x comma y, so 3 comma 2.5. Okay, so that's graphically. Numerically, I'm not actually quite sure how they want you to do it. Don't know, but anyway, there's two methods of how to do it. Um, you may get a question as, is one method better than the other? Well, it's not really. I am, algebra will always be more accurate though, because you're actually working out the value of x, y. Graphically, you're at the mercy of how well you draw in your lines um, to be accurate, okay? And you can see we were fairly accurate there, um, so it worked out okay. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our level seven in electronic and computer engineering? This is a three-year programme that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress on to the level eight in electronics and self-driving technologies, and from there to the masters. Check out the link below for more information.